Hey there, everybody. This is McFly Gold, and welcome to part five and a half <laughs> of the point and click adventure toolkit tutorial series. Um, this is just going to be a little add on to the last episode where we had the cutscene with the NPC here, and we're going to make it so that you can talk to him one time. And then after that, when you try to talk to him again, it won't interact. So the easiest way to do that would be we go into here. Uh, we can, yeah, we can close this. We can close the dialogue and we'll just go to here where we started the cutscene with the uh, NPC. So all the way at the end here. When we re-enable input, we are going to search for state string, and we're going to add a state string. So what this is going to do is right now, if we were to look at our state strings, which are here, right now we have fed fluffy and say it once. That's it. So what we're going to do is after they're done having their little conversation, we're going to add a new one. So for this one, I'm just going to call this like NP C say it once. And I'm going to copy that. So right now this state string does not exist. So we're going to go back to the beginning. Beginning, and I'll just pull this way. And what we're going to do is get our state strings and we're going to say contains item. And then we're going to add a branch here that was holding B and clicking. So we're going to connect this here, connect this here. And now we're going to say, we're going to paste in the NPC say it once. If this doesn't exist, so it will be false, then we're going to do our dialogue. And at the end, we're going to add it. When we add it, the next time it'll be true. And when it's true, it's going to be nothing. They won't interact. So I'm going to hit compile and let's go to our level and test it out. Open the door, walk up to him. Do you have any gas? Sorry, I'm all out. Now, if I click on him again, hmm. Okay, so all that did was stop the camera motion from happening. So what we want to do now is also add that to, let me see. Yeah, the, 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 the interaction is still happening. So we want to add that to our NPC. So let's grab the NPC. And I hit control B and open it up and here and talk to, we're going to add that same check. So we'll pull all of this off to the side, get the scene manager and control C and V. We're going to get the state strings. So state, get the state strings. And then we're going to say contains we're going to B and click to add this branch. We're going to connect it the same way. So here it's going to be false and then the contains is going to be the same one here. 
So copy, control C, and here, paste, control V. Okay, save that. And that should be good. Let's try it again. Okay, we click on them. We get the cutscene. Sorry, I'm all out. And now, there we go. We click on him and he has nothing to say. So that's how you get the NPC to interact one time. And now if I were to play this again, it's going to have the interaction because we haven't saved. So there you see, do you have any gas? Sorry, I'm all out. Now, if I click on him again, it won't do anything. So what we want to do now is you can add a save uh, node at the end of that interaction if you wanted to force it. But if you just click here and hit save game, we can exit. And when we play again, now when I click on them, nothing happens. So there you go. That is how you can make a dialogue interaction only happen one time. All right. I hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next episode.